like 85% of black students, I had to borrow. And like uh, so many of those students, I also defaulted on those loans. The decades of systemic racism and discriminatory policies like redlining and predatory lending that systemically denied Black and Latinx families the opportunity to build wealth, forcing our families to take on greater rates of student debt just for the chance at the same degree as our white counterparts. This is an abstract for me. I grew up in a single uh, parented household while my father um, who's now gone on to do extraordinary things, but was battling substance use disorder, was in and out of our criminal legal system. Um, I was the first person in my immediate family to pursue higher education, and there wasn't anyone to hold my hand or, or walk me through um, either the, the college application process um, or to fully explain what I was signing on to when I was signing all of these documents just to make it possible for me to be able to pursue higher education. We know that black and brown students are five times more likely uh, to default on those loans uh, than our white counterparts. All policies, again, not naturally occurring, that have made higher education less accessible and more unequal for students, faculty, and staff alike. This is not the time to, uh, to, to moderate um, our aspirations are to play small. We have to go as, as big and as broad, um, commiserate with as deep and systemic uh, the hurt has been. Pushing the Biden administration to take bold executive action to cancel student loan debt. It means Congress finally authorizing a higher education act that will expand investments in Pell Grants and in-campus childcare, transportation and mental health supports that our students have the resources necessary to cover the real costs and demands of college.